everyone and happy Halloween! I'm Rebecca and welcome back to my sewing room. Today I've decided that since Halloween is just a few days away from when you are watching this, assuming you're watching this right when it comes out, that today we should do a very quick and easy, fun little craft that you can have that is perfect for Halloween, but is also perfect to just keep on your sewing table the whole rest of the year and give yourself a little bit of like festive, holiday, fall, pumpkin-y feeling that whole year round because today we are going to make a pumpkin-shaped pincushion. This is a super, super easy project that you can make like with your friends or with your kids or whatever, you know, while watching a scary movie on Halloween, however you really feel because it really doesn't take very long at all. So you are going to need some cotton fabric, just like a little bit. I'm using scraps left over from the jumper dress that I made last year because that way I can use up some scraps and it still looks festive. And you're gonna need just a little bit of brown felt and you're going to need some sort of floss or thicker thread. The color and texture honestly are totally up to you. You just need it to be decorative and you're going to need some polyfill or whatever you like to do for stuffing. I mean you could even use scraps of fabric if you want but something to stuff the inside of the pincushion and that's all you need. So let's go ahead and get started. So you can make this pumpkin out of kind of like any size rectangle. I am starting with just a small one here, which is five inches this way by 10 inches this way. The key thing is that you want it to be on the bias. I know that it looks like this isn't, but actually this fabric is printed on the bias. So yeah, it winds up being straight grain in my pumpkin because the grain is running this way. So it looks a little funky. So the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to fold it in half like this. And on the short sides over here, you are going to stitch a seam with a one quarter inch seam allowance. Press your seam open. Then you are going to want to run gathering stitches on both ends over here. Now, conversely, you can do the gathering stitches before you do the seam. You just have to make sure that you don't catch the gathering stitches in the seam. So whatever your preference is, that's what you do. But I'm gonna run two sets of two gathering stitches on either side. Now you're going to pull up one set of threads for the gathers. Pull this part up as tightly as you can and then I would even go so far as to take your threads that you've just pulled up and tie them in a knot together to get a really nice tight little closure on there. Next you're going to want to take a thread, you can actually use one of these threads that you are gathering with and you are going to take it with a hand needle and you're just going to kind of sew across this so that you know it's going to stay nice and tight and closed because this is going to be the bottom of your pumpkin. You may want to use a thimble for this as it can get quite thick. Once you're running short on thread, you can just tie it off at any time. Now we have the nice tight bottom of the pumpkin and we can cut off these extra threads. There is the bottom of our pumpkin. Now it's time to stuff this pumpkin with polyfill or whatever you choose. I've decided to see if I can actually get away with stuffing this whole thing with scraps of other Halloween fabrics because I have a lot of Halloween fabrics in my sewing room right now. You want to stuff it firmly, but at the same time, you'd still need to leave room so that you can pull these gathering stitches up too and have them close nice and tightly. Now, if you are making a decorative pumpkin, it does not need to be so firm and polyfill is probably the better option, but this is a great way to use up some cabbage. Let's pull up our stitches and see. I think I need to add a little bit more. Oh, actually, no, I do. I'm going to add some more fabric still. Sorry, dogs, your cabbage now. I don't go very fine on my cabbage because I don't want to pick up all those little pieces. So these are just scraps that I pulled out of the trash can and I'm cutting them up into small pieces. There we go, that filled in that hole. I think we're almost there. Oh no, I broke a gathering thread. Don't be like me and use old thread for your gathering. 
Okay, I may have overstuffed this just a little bit because you want to actually be able to turn in this edge and stitch it so that you don't have any of the raw edges showing. So I'll have to do this carefully without a camera right in front of me, but I'll show you what it looks like when that's done. This is what it looks like with it all stitched up together. In hindsight, I think I could have actually added a little bit more stuffing and fiber fill definitely would do a better job than cabbage of like filling it out kind of evenly just because it's so lofty but I think that this is a great way to use up scraps and it makes for a firmer pin cushion, which is kind of nice. So now we can go ahead and add the segmenting of our pumpkin. So we're gonna have a pretty chonky knot on the end of this. So ideally you wanna hide that knot in the bottom here where we still kind of have that opening. If you can bring your needle up as close as possible, hiding in the folds. Perfect. Now go back as if you're starting from the center. And you are going to just wrap segments really anywhere you like. You can do as many segments as you like. I wanna put one right over the seam just so that the seam is not as obvious. And you are just gonna wrap it like this and take up a little bit of the top and then wrap another segment. You can work this straight across if you want. You could go off to the side. I think I'm gonna do straight across just because it feels more secure. And then when you get back to the bottom, you again just take a little bit of the bottom. I have four strands on here, and I actually wanted to do this with embroidered floss, but I couldn't find it in the right color. So I'm using, I think, like a pretty thick buttonhole twist with four strands. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I think I'm gonna break this into six segments total. So I'm gonna do one off to the side like this. And unfortunately, I didn't quite make my thread long enough to do all six segments. So I think I'm gonna wind up with five segments and then re-thread more thread for our final segment. There we go, we have our sixth segment on now. This is the top, that is the bottom. So you can see the bottom still looks quite neat, which is good. The top, it doesn't matter that it doesn't look quite as neat. We have our knots up there because now it's time to add our stem. So for the stem, we are just going to take a tiny bit of felt. This is like two and a half inches long by one inch tall. And we are just going to roll that felt up like this. And as you roll, you can put a drop or two of hot glue. And you can also do this by sewing if you prefer. I am hot gluing it because it's faster and easier and this is just decorative. There we go, just like that. And I've also cut out a leaf, which is a little bit on the oversized side. And I think this is vaguely what a pumpkin leaf looks like. They're, they're kind of wide and pointy. And so we're gonna glue the leaf on first, just a little bit. And then we're gonna glue on top of the leaf base and put our stem right there. And again, if you prefer, you can just sew all of that on. But there we go. We have a pumpkin pin cushion. How cute is that? And how functional too. Now this can sit on my sewing table all year long and I can have a little bit of fall with me all the time. And of course, you can also use pumpkins like this for decoration too. They don't have to be pin cushions. You could just decorate your house with little cloth pumpkins. So overall, I think this just wound up being the perfect little pumpkin pincushion. It's such a good size for a pincushion too. Like it's not gonna get in the way. It's gonna be easily transportable if I want to bring it with me to do like hand sewing projects, you know, out and about. So yeah, this is great. And it used up a whole bunch of Halloween scrap fabrics that would have otherwise gone into the garbage. So that was really nice. So let me know if you wind up using this tutorial to make a little pumpkin pincushion of your own. If you do make this, like let me know in the comments, but also show me pictures on Instagram. You know, tag me in a picture on Instagram or send me a message, something like that, because I would love to see your little pumpkin pincushion as well. I mean, 
it's so freaking cute i think i actually might make more that are larger and just put them around the house as decorations for halloween because it's so cute so hopefully you enjoyed this video if you like this video please go ahead and click the thumbs up icon and if you'd like to see more videos like this from me please go ahead and click subscribe and the little bell icon to be notified every time i post a new video i do post videos here on youtube twice a week with my sewing vlogs out on tuesdays and other random sewing and costuming content like this out on saturdays but i post every day over on my instagram so please go follow me on instagram that's at lady rebecca fashions and if you'd like to help support all of the work that i do on this channel i do have a link to my patreon Patreon and my Kofi down in the description below, or you can send me a super thanks right here on YouTube. I'd also like to take this time to thank all of my absolutely wonderful patrons. You guys are fantastic and you really keep this channel going. And I'd especially like to thank those patrons at the Romantic Victorian and Edwardian level tiers who are Sharon Mirage, Audra, Emily, Kim, Jean, Linda, Maria, Sarah, Tiffany, Denise, Liz, Kimberly, and Peta. Thank you all so, so much. I really could not make this quantity of content without you guys. And thank you all for joining me today. I hope you all have a wonderful week and a fantastic Halloween, and I will see you very soon in my next video. Happy sewing!